While millions of voters are finally participating in the Democracy Party starting Wednesday morning, thousands of passionate workers have already been working for months to ensure that the elections proceed as planned. These workers are part of the PPS, or Panitia Pamungutan Suara, the Election Day Organizers, which are a group under the Electoral Commission, made up of mostly civilians who will be tasked with ensuring the voting process in every polling station across the country is conducted properly. Many consider this a thankless job, and sometimes even a dangerous one. In the 2019 presidential election, many Election Day organizers collapsed due to exhaustion. Some were hospitalized, and according to the Electoral Commission, a total of 894 workers died. And so, earlier this month, we visited a technical training session for the election organizer committee members in North Gandaria to ask the workers directly, why do they still commit themselves to this task? Nabila Kusuma Wardani is a relatively rare site, a member of Gen Z who signed up to be a part of the election day organizers. We asked her what her motivation was behind taking up this challenge. Uh, why I joined KPPS team? Because I would like to increase all my like, organization skill. Because I have organization background back when I was in uh, university. Uh, so first, I would like to like increasing my time time management skill, leadership skill, and also uh, team. Uh, team uh, management team. So why is Gen Z is important? Because most of us like uh, apathetically uh, who don't who don't really like concern about uh, our political issue itself. So that's why maybe because of I'm joining my friends got like uh, approach to like how the political issue could be. Nabila understands the risk involved with joining the organizers and recalls the deaths and hospitalizations of many members in 2019. But she believes that with better task management, she and her team will be safe. But I believe uh, right now I have already prepared for all my on my daily basis for my healthiness and also my team. I always uh, got instructed them to uh, get more life healthier. That's it. Members of the KPPS such as Nabila will be primarily working on the day of the election, with six other KPPS members at each polling station. However, PPS, or Election Organizer Committee members, those who are tasked with recruiting the Election Day workers, have worked for over a year assisting the Electoral Commission with distribution and logistics. We spoke with one of the more experienced members of the PPS, Muhammad Hilmi Ismail, to get his insights. A veteran of two presidential elections, Ismail knows how rigorous and exhausting the process can be. But, he believes that the Electoral Commission has learned from the harrowing experience of last year in order to better prepare the election day workers. Makanya untuk perekrutan KPPS pada tahun ini kita melalui proses seleksi yang cukup ketat. Selain administrasi, mereka juga harus melalui cek kesehatan. KPU sudah menjalin kerjasama dengan Sudin Kesehatan Jakarta Selatan dan di puskesmas kelurahan-kelurahan yang ada di seluruh Jakarta Selatan mereka menyeleksi KPPS sesuai dengan uh, yang cukup ketat pertama cek kesehatan, tensi darah, kolesterol dan gula. KPPS ini sudah melalui proses itu, mereka ada surat kesehatan dari puskesmas, makanya kami bisa melakukan perekrutan KPPS. Ismail himself says that as the election day inches closer, he finds himself and his team working more and more, finding very little time to rest. Kalau sudah mendekati ini, malah yang ada kami kemungkinan sering tidur di kelurahan. Jadi kemungkinan istirahat itu sekitar 4 sampai 5 jam. But despite it all, Ismail's passion for his work does not waver. He believes this to be his calling and is happy to serve if it means that the election can proceed as intended, fair and just. Sebenarnya ini adalah panggilan hati ya. Panggilan hati uh, kami sangat tertarik ke peduli terhadap pemilu yang ada di Kelurahan Gandaria Utara maupun yang ada di Indonesia khususnya kami tertarik kenapa karena ini sudah menjoy Mbak ya jadi kalau orang kalau sudah senang melaksanakannya mau berapapun yang diterima honornya itu nomor sekian Ismail and Nabila are posted in more than 823,000 polling stations in this year's general election more than 3,000 of which are located outside Indonesia 
Coffee Today team reporting from Jakarta.